Hey guys, this is Inferno Bird here, going to show you another way to route your Samsung Galaxy S3, um, but this is for the US carriers only, not the i9300 version, and if you have Verizon, make sure that you are unlocked first. So on your home screen, the first thing you want to do is hit Menu, go to Settings, scroll all the way down to About Device, and make sure it, set, it does not say uh, i9300 there. I'm using the SBH L710 from uh, Sprint. Anyway, as soon as you got that all done, you want to go ahead and go to your computer and plug it in. Alright, and then once you've got your phone plugged in through the USB cable, I recommend using a really good USB cable like the OEM one that they gave you in the box. Um, you want to make sure it's connected as a media device, so make sure you pull that down and it says connected as a media device right there. So you get two different options. One is media, one is camera. Make sure the media device is checked. Anyway, you can go back and put down your phone. And we'll go to our computer. And then you're going to download three different files. And I'll have three different download links for you. Um, I'll just zoom in on these. You want to download the first one being the Team Epic Root from Recovery version 5.zip um, and you want to take that one and put it in your phone so go to your phone on your windows so go to computer scroll down sorry and then mine shows up as my model number SPHL710 so you want to open it up and I have an SD card installed so I'm going to put it on my SD card and I'm going to take that folder and I'm going to drag it and drop it into my SD card. So once it's in there I can close out of that, I can unplug my phone and you want to turn your phone off. So I'm going to turn my phone off. There we go. And then you want to open or, or extract, excuse me. You want to extract Odin 3 version 3.04 zip. So extract all. I'm going to extract it straight to the desktop. And there it is. Okay, and then once you got that figured out, you want to right click or, or you want to go into the file right click on Odin and then run as administrator say yes and then you have Odin so the first thing you want to do is uncheck auto reboot and then you can take your phone and then while pressing the volume down home Sorry, I'm well, having a little trouble seeing me. But you want to you want to press volume down, home, and power buttons all at the same time until you get that. And then what this is is Odin mode. So from here you want to press up, volume up, and now you are in Odin mode. So when you get to there, you can plug your phone back into your PC via USB. And whenever you do that, it should come up here with COM something. Doesn't matter the number as long as it shows COM something in that box. So there we go. And then once you got all that done, and you got your you make sure your auto reboot is unchecked you go to your PDA button here and then locate that MD5 file, the Clockwork Mod Recovery CWM Recovery LTE SGS3 V5.tar.md5 you want to select that for the PDA slot make sure that goes in there and then once you have all that you want to click start and it shouldn't take long, should take you know seven to eight seconds and it should be done 
So mine took six seconds and it was finished. So now you want to go to your phone and you want to unplug your USB. Let's see. And then you want to take the back off. So take the back off your phone and then with the phone on, phone on, just take the battery out. Do not turn it off. Take the battery out, put it back in, put the back back on. All right, there we go. And you want to press volume up, power, and home buttons all at the same time until the first screen lights up. So you'll feel the vibration, and then there we go. And let go. And then from there, you will get into Clockwork Mod Recovery. So here we go. And I'll zoom in on this. Now using your your volume buttons and your in your power you're going to highlight install zip from SD card and then select it using power and then choose it from SD card and then you are going to navigate to that team epic root from recovery zip file that we put in there earlier so you're going to go ahead and hit power on that and then go to yes hit power again and it should flash sorry your super user and whatnot and um, and you should now go back and then reboot system now so now you are rooted and ready for ROMs um, it's that simple it's that easy to do and I hope it was informative for you I'll show you just what goes onto your phone after you do all that. So here we go. Let it load up. Alright, so I'll do it on TouchWiz so it's kind of familiar. Anyway, go into your app drawer and you should now have a application install called Super User. Well, there you go. Super use is working. <laughs> but let's see if we can find it. There it is. Okay. Sorry. There it is. Right there. The super user app. And what that does is just gives your like different applications and whatnot uh, super user permissions, which is needed for rooted uh, root required uh, applications. So there you go, guys. That is how to root your Samsung Galaxy S3 for the U.S. carriers only. If you like my commentary and want to see more videos, I have all kinds of videos relating to the Galaxy S3. If you want, uh, please subscribe up here and uh, share with your friends on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter, and give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it, guys. Take it easy. Peace. Oh, um... Also, a plug-in for Amazon, I'll include a link of where you can buy a Samsung Galaxy S3 unlocked i9300 version, so keep an eye out for that. Alright, thanks guys, and I appreciate it. Take care.